This video explains how to create a duplicate of a column in a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create in lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame is appearing, which is called data. And you can click on this data frame to see the structure of this data frame. And as you can see, the data contains six rows and two columns, which are called x1 and x2. And the first column contains the values one to six. Now let's assume that we want to create a duplicate of this first column. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines five and six. So in line five, I'm creating a duplicate of the entire data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. So after running this line of code, a new data frame called data new one is appearing at the top right. And at this point, this data frame contains exactly the same values as our input data frame data. And then in the next step, I'm using the dollar operator to create a new column, which is called x3. And I'm assigning to this column the values that are stored in the column x1. So if you run line six of the code, our data frame is updated, as you can see by clicking on this data frame. So now you can see that our new data frame contains three columns. And the third column x3 contains exactly the same values as the column x1. So in this first example, I have explained how to use base R to create a duplicate of a column. However, it's also possible to do that based on the deep layer package. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line eight of the code. So in lines eight and nine, I'm installing and loading the deep layer package. I have installed this package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line nine of the code. And then in the next step, we can use the mutate function to create a duplicate of our column and to store our new data in a new data frame called data new two. So if you run lines 11 and 12 of the code, another data set called data new two is appearing at the top right. And we can open this data set by clicking on the data set. And then you can see that this new data frame contains exactly the same values as the data frame created in the first example. However, this time we have used the deep layer package instead of base R. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.